Abyssal Angel is returning. Let's talk about it and more in this week's news video. I'm sorry, but Shag said, ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make a doubt of Christ. New intro, because the other one got copyrighted. Black Friday plus Cyber Monday update. The marathon of Black plus Cyber variant creations starts this week in addition to all new items from LAE and Shadow K. The list will be limited by how much we can make in that time. Keep an eye out for previews. Now, we did get a first preview this week and it was for Abyssal Angel Shadow. This is a class. Uh, you can see it on Elena's character page right now. Although the art isn't there anymore. This is different art from the original uh, Abyssal Angel art. So it looks, this is what the original looks like if you are unaware. Uh, I have the rare version. I've had, I had it since launch, of course. Didn't get it from, uh, some people probably, I, I bet you there was at least one person that got Void High or, um, Abyssal Angel from the Wheel of Doom, the item of Donate Awesomeness. I'm, I'm sure someone did, and that person's probably a little bit upset. Uh, F's in the chat for that, man. Uh, now, my thoughts on this are I'm glad it's coming back. If you're watching my stream for any amount of time, you'll know that I've wanted this class to come back. It's kind of a shame that they have classes that are rare that are also really fun classes to use like this one is. So, that's good that it's coming back. And I really hope it's not a nerfed version like Collector class was for uh, Vindicator Vey. I hope it is in that sort of situation. Although, the name Abyssal Angel Shadow could... If you think about it, that could mean it's like a, a shadow of the Abyssal Angel, like a lesser version of it in its shadow, sort of. Uh, but maybe they just need a name related to Black Friday for the class. It could go either way. There is there is a chance that it's a nerf version, so don't get your expectations too high for it. We have to wait till uh, it comes out next Friday, not not tomorrow, but the week after. So, all right, moving on to the next thing in this news video. Okay, well, I clicked render on the video, then I checked Twitter to see if I missed anything, of course, and this was tweeted out. So, why are you doing a Black Friday variant of a rare class? I have something to do here start playing AQW every day. They'll never be able uh, to get the exact same cosmetic items that you, reading this now, have because they are perma-rare. Uh, with cosmetic items, that's okay. You don't need those to experience the game fully. When it comes to classes, also known as gameplay though, you do. Thank god, they finally acknowledged the fact that classes shouldn't be rare. Holy hell, can we get some of the other like rare classes that are gone forever back in the game, please? Uh, okay. Thanks. Alright. I'm not asking for the original versions, so, like make new versions where uh, they could be scuffed art, I don't care. I just, I want, the classes shouldn't be rare, none of them. Alright, well. Glad, glad, uh, what are the, I, 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 does the rest of this matter? I'll read through it. Okay, so it's pretty cool. Um, if you have the original class, you will be getting this new version for free. Yay, that's, that's pretty cool, okay. Um, it'll, it's exact same power. Uh, the skill names are different. So, oh, I, I really hope they don't. Okay, so one thing, I closed my AQ, but one thing the original, uh, Abyssal Angel class had was the skill art looked way better than it does now. They changed the skill art. It's called uh, they it which really triggers me because it, you, the skill art used to look way better than it looks like now, and they added like a white like outlined everything in the skill art. It looks like absolute crap compared to what it used to look like. So I hope that the seasonal version has the old skill art. Or put the old skill art on the old class and put the new skill art, the one that we currently have on Abyssal Angel, on the new class uh, for the skills in the bottom. Like that, what you're seeing on your screen when you have the class equipped. Please do that. Um, yeah, same power. It's a seasonal class. Abyssal Angel's coming back. All right, moving on. I talked about this for way too long. Okay, uh, there's actually more news to this post. Sorry, I like cut three times talking about this, but... Uh, one of my concerns and one of many people's concerns is if you use the item of Donate Awesomeness on the Abyssal Angel class, you can pick a new item. So that's great news for the people that did that. I'm glad they're acknowledging that. Um, this is a 5k seasonal collection chest. It will come with 26 items this year. Next year, they'll add even more to the chest if the gear, uh, if you get the gear this year and get next year's chest update for free. All of the items in the Hollowborn Invoker collection will also be available to buy individually. Oh, they're not doing a- Oh, I'm upset. 
Um, that's, that's, that's not great. Wait, I didn't read through. <laughs> I should probably read this in order. That's not making any sense. Um, oh, oh, you. So it's just, it's just going to be the Hollowborn set from LAE in the collection. That's, that's the only thing in the collection for 5k AC. Wait, what's it going to get next year? If it's just, how can it get? So it's getting all the 20 items that LAE made in one collection chest. Which a lot of people aren't going to want all the items from the thing. Like people aren't going to want the staffs and stuff. Like the people, those aren't really, I mean like scythes and stuff. People really don't use those that much. Like when's the last time you saw someone running around with a scythe? That wasn't one of those null gap ones from a long time ago. So this is yeah, really interesting. Uh, five k chest. Uh, that yeah, I much rather prefer a ten k with all this stuff in it. So yeah, that's bad. On a positive note for this post, if my mic would get in the way, uh, cyber caster armor. That sounds interesting. I uploaded a video about this. The treasure potion bug. All right, uh, it was giving five potions on when you landed on a potion. Now they changed it. Uh, originally they changed it so it only gave you one. Now they changed it again. So here are the new rules for the wheel. One spin gets normal rewards plus bonus prize. Uh, two no bonus prizes get. Oh, these are the changes. No, not one spin. Number one is to spin spin the wheel, get normal rewards plus bonus prizes. No bonus prize gets you two treasure potions instead of one. So that's an improvement over what we had before. That's actually good. Uh, Wheel tries to give a duplicate item. You get three potions. Pretty good. And already have all the wheel drops. Get six. Now, this one might sound good. But I don't know uh, if <laughs> all drops factors in the 0, 0.00. Is it 001 or 01? I don't know. The 0 0.1 or whatever. 0, 0.00 something. One drop that is the epic item of donate awesomeness. I don't know if that factors as one of the drops to get the six potions or if it's all the other drops except for that one drop from the wheel. So if if this includes that, then that isn't as good as it sounds getting six if you have all the drops. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but these are good changes and a good compromise between uh, what it used to be. Imagine having Dark Caster for Christmas. They can't help themselves, you know? They gotta make more Dark Casters. But I like it. I'm a big fan of this armor set. It was a really good surprise from A Ranks this week. And uh, yeah, this should be a Frostfell set coming out. Probably. They probably need it for the 10k chest for Frostfell. We're getting a Black Friday 10k chest. We just got. Did we get a Halloween 10k chest? No, we didn't. But we got a Talk like Pirate Day. Wait, did we get a Halloween 10k chest? Uh, no, I don't think we did. Uh, God, I have a terrible memory. We definitely got one for... Okay, so I think they skipped Halloween, so they're going to do one for Black Friday instead of Halloween this year. I think that's what they're doing. So we always get three 10k chests at the end of the year now. That happened last year. That'll happen this year. And uh, yeah, can't wait for this to be in game, along with the LAE's Barbarian sets. Some of the stuff I'm looking forward to most for this Frostfell. Moving on. Speaking of LAE, hey, hey, transitions. So, uh, this set, the Void Battle Mage, I, I feel like, have we seen this before? Uh, I might have seen this before, like a, maybe, oh, a drawing maybe of it, like a sketch, and this is uh, on the computer. Pretty cool. And, uh, the color custom on the eye color is also on the armor, I think, maybe? Although this, the one on the right is blue, so I don't know. Uh, looks pretty nice. Now this has some god tier shading. Look at this. Whew. Void Chrono Knight and Void Chronomancer. God. I can see. Okay, so I, the one thing I'm worried about for this is they are Chronomancer, Chrono Knight. I could see this being Hero Mart easily. They added on to like the calendar this year or something like that. I could see them doing that easily. If you don't know, uh, the artists that I show in these videos, if their items do get in game, uh, they have, I think for sometimes they have a little bit of say, but they really have no say on how the items end up in the game. They just make the art and, uh, yeah, they get compensated for their art. They don't get any, like, say of how the art's implemented into AQ. 
So this could go in any any place for any uh, thing, but I could see it being a hero mart item. What in the perfect world, it would be a really cool farming reward as like a seasonal uh, like Nolgath farming thing that you get every uh, New Year's. That would be really cool. So it's available for like a month during New Year's every year, for like the month of January every year, because it would also fit in well with the uh, New Year's being Chrono. And then also with the Nolgas birthday in January, so it fit in a good spot right there. So we'll have to wait and see. I could, I, I'm like 90% sure this is going to be in game. It looks too good not to add it into the game. So, but I don't think it's confirmed to be in game yet. Moving on. Oh yeah, more items here for the same set. Uh, these capes look super badass. I love them. Uh, the, the one in the middle, it's very simple. I don't know. It, I feel like it needs like a, I don't know. It just looks a little weird to me for AQ art. Like it looks like the art's a little off for AQ, but maybe in game it actually looks decent. The gold one on the right looks sick. Uh, you got the sets with it. See, yeah, it looks like maybe it's the Twitter. Like Twitter likes the. God damn it! God damn it! I didn't see that. Oh my god! All right, well, moving on. Yeah, maybe Twitter compresses it so it looks worse on Twitter, but it looks a little jagged. The plates are a little weird for me. But I love the armor on this set. Can't wait to see if this gets put in game or not. Hollowborn update. There was a new cape. We saw that last week. I think this was the new stuff. Some daggers. And this really cool animation on this staff right here. So that's the update. Yeah, Ellie's putting out like one a day until uh, the event comes out next week. A new armor from Shadow Slayer K. Uh, for Frostfell, I guess, uh, with the like horns and the kind of like the blue and white uh, colors fits in well with Frostfell. So we'll probably see this in the future, I'd imagine. Dominic with a Nutcracker, female and male, blue and red versions looks really sick. Uh, I love like the uh, the face on it looks really cool for uh, the helmet. Definitely a fan, and it'd be cool to see something like this in the game. Like I like always, pretty cool. Millie Bagels. Feature of the Cyrus last week, uh, really good stuff and some more really good stuff from uh, the artists. So we got like some pink, looks like Valentine's Day themed sets. Really awesome. This is the kind of stuff I would love to see in game. Uh, the hat looks like a hat we have already had in game. I'm not sure if it's like the same or, it'll, but it does look different enough from the original one. I don't know the name of the original one or I'll look it up, but yeah. As I was setting up to record this, uh, Millie also tweeted this out. A not cute set. Looks pretty cute to me. I don't know. Very cool. Very talented artist. I love I love the stuff seen from Millie. Go follow the person on Twitter. Uh, like everything, I link all of the uh, all the tweets and stuff I talk about. It's all linked in the description. So if you want to check out any of the artists on Twitter or anything that I talk about in these news videos, you can check them out in the links in the description. Krulong's armor is in game with the helmet. It looks like since it's flashed, so we do get a better look at the helmet. It looks like the scarf is part of the helmet. If you can see there. Maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. I guess that, and that blade looks like a cape too. Or no. Well, okay. Well, the scarf is going under that blade. So maybe it's not a helmet. I'm, I'm really confused. Uh, usually the, that would go over it. That's some layering right there. That's some really good layering if it is part of the helmet. I'll have to wait and see for that one. That's what I'm most interested about for this set is whether or not that scarf is part of the helmet. Because if it is, that's going to be a really cool helmet. Also, Reans has an A ranks Nolgath armor on her character page. Nolgath. I didn't say Nolgath. Dage. Okay. It, yeah. It, it, well, it's an A ranks armor. It's not a Dage armor or a Nolgath armor. It's A ranks. But at least it looks a lot like A ranks. I'm assuming. You know, did I assume the artist? Yes, I did. All right. Moving on. This really threw me off. I, I don't know why. So, AQ3D, if you've ever played AQ3D, they really like to reuse models. So, a model is something you put a texture on, right? So, they just retexture the same model quite a bit, which is what a lot of devs do, honestly. But they do it a, a noticeable amount in AQ3D. But for, for Sephiria, they had to go with a custom model, you know? There was two really big reasons they needed a custom model for the Sephiria character. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan, all right? I'm a fan. I'm glad, I'm glad they put the effort, you know, to make the character. Um, it's always been her design. Yeah, make it as original, as authentic as possible. 
God bless. God bless. <laughs> Thanks for watching the news video, guys. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll be here tomorrow for the stream. Uh, it is going to be Mehmet's nightmare, like, birthday release sort of thing. Uh, so that should have some cool items. That Krong set might be in the game tomorrow uh, that I just showed. So that would be pretty cool to farm for or uh, maybe AC. I don't know. Maybe both. We'll see. So, yeah. We really don't know what's coming out tomorrow other than it's going to be a Mehmet birthday event. And next week is Black Friday. And then next week is Black Friday. And then on Monday after the Friday next week, there's Cyber Monday. So, and I think we have a Thanksgiving event on Thanksgiving Day, too, this week. So, or not an event, but a seasonal coming back on, like, Wednesday or Thursday. So, a lot of stuff to look forward to in the next coming weeks for AQ. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace. If you guys play Fortnite and you want to support me, you can use my credit code, CoreyX, in Fortnite.